Do you know what wastewater is? Do you know that one person produces about 60 liters per day of wastewater? Do you know where wastewater goes? If you are interested, stay with us. Wastewater begins a journey in our homes, schools and other public places. After going through kilometers of a pipe network, collected wastes are delivered to wastewater plants. In a primary treatment, wastewater goes in a sedimentation tank, where heavy particles and suspended solids will sink to the bottom, and then water goes to a secondary treatment. Activated sludge is added and the aeration is performed. In this process, about 85% of the organic matter is removed with the help of bacteria. Afterwards, we have a clear water which is now safe to dispose into the environment. Aerobic activated sludge typically looks like brownish flocks, however, this is a complex community of various microorganisms that remove both pollutants and nutrients from the wastewater. The dominant groups are bacteria, 90% uh, of them are filamentous species, and also we have protozoa, metazoa and some smaller amount of algae and various fungi. Protozoa and metazoa play a critical role in the treatment process by removing free-flowing bacteria and various suspended solids. This improves the clarity of the effluent wastewater. Already for a while it has been estimated that the type and proportion of protozoa present in the active sludge can give an indication on treatment system performance. There are 12 types of protozoa and metazoa groups that are included in indicator organism analysis. Nevertheless, wastewater treatment with aerobic activated sludge generate high amounts of excess biomass, which is an expensive material to treat and also can be a potential health and environmental hazard. One of the possible solutions for excess amounts of activated sludge is the use of granulated activated sludge technology. These structures are more dense, they are more resistant towards harmful substances and can be used in smaller size reactors. The granules are formed over a long period of time, this sometimes can last even for one year. At the same time, the granules contain all the main microorganisms that are responsible for wastewater purification. We all want to live in clean and safe environment. Our life quality depends on the water quality and accessibility. To have good quality water, we need to make our best to treat our wastes. In Water Chain project, we compare different technologies to improve wastewater treatment and minimize an impact on the Baltic Sea. Thank you for spending time with us. We hope that you learned something new.